This is an introduction to the BYOB Post Meta Fields Extended Box for Thesis 2.1. This gives you a great deal of control over how post meta that you may create can be inserted into your templates. So you can use this to really insert anything. You can use it to insert short codes that you may have, like you know, buy now buttons, short codes, or something like that. You can use it to insert other kinds of custom post meta. The example we're going to use here today is to include the name of the of the person who is giving the testimonial to include in our short little excerpt. And so this begins by downloading it, of course. And then we come over to the site that we're going to install it on. Manage boxes. We're going to upload the box, choose the file. And choose the BYOB Post Meta Fields Extended box. Add that box. Say OK. Come down here and save it save the boxes. Now in order to really take advantage of this you actually need to have some post meta created and I think the easiest way to add post meta especially the nice little entry dialogue or something like that or with a nice inside of a nice meta box so you have decent data entry the best way to do that is to use some kind of a plugin and the plugin I happen to like for this generally speaking is the types plugin so I'm going to come over here to Plugins and Add New. I'm going to search for Types. This is a very powerful plugin. There's lots of stuff you can do with it. We're going to go ahead and install Types. Activate it. And then what we're going to do is choose, or we're going to create a new custom field. Now, this is going to be uh, testimonial info or testimonial details. And we're going to display this only on testimonials. We're not going to worry about terms or templates for this part. And then we are going to add, well, at the moment, what we're going to do is just add a single line field here and that the name of that single line field will be a person's name. And then we'll just say enter the name testimonial. And actually, let's add another one. Let's add let's add one more. Let's add a URL. So let's say person's website. And we'll call this you know the website address of the person leaving the testimonial giving the testimonial and hit save okay so we have just concluded this and so we can go ahead and hit save again and now we can come over to our testimonials and open up our testimonials and we'll find that we've got this little edit form now probably down here at the bottom really but we can drag this up testimonial details I think I'm just gonna drag it up here to below the featured image so person's name is gonna be Brian Mikowski and his website address is www. Brian 
Mikowski.com. Okay. And so I can update those. And then we're just going to do this on all of the testimonials here real quick. So this person's name is Angela Chan. And her website address is www.angelachan.com. Update that. And we'll just pretend that we've done that for everything else. So now what we do then is go to our skin editor. And we're going to include these fields into our testimonial displays. So we'll come back over to our sidebar content and open up the BX content slider and the featured posts query box. And then what we're going to do is come over here and insert one of these post meta fields extended. Bring it and drop it into the query box and drag it down to the bottom. That's where we want it. And this is going to have a P tag. This will be the testimonial name. Okay. And at the moment we're not going to give it a HTML or a class. Now you can decide to include some HTML prior to the custom field contents. I'm going to give a strong tag. And then a closing strong tag. If you're gonna, if the, if it includes a short code, check that box. Otherwise, don't worry about it. And what we have to do now is put the name of the post meta field that we want to display. Now we're gonna find that name. in the testimonials. If we go down to the very bottom here, we have these custom fields. And we have WPCF person's name. That's the one that we're doing at the moment. Put that in there and say OK. And save our template. And actually you'll be able to see this in action now. There's Angela's name. That does solve it. So you can see what happens here. You can also come along and now we could go ahead and add that the other box and have it be Let's call it testimonial website. And that's WPCF person's website. And we'll go ahead and give it a P tag also. Save the template. And now we have a nice little arrangement of, of their name and uh, that kind of stuff automatically added into these testimonials. And really, you can do that with anything. Right, you could just as easily have secondary content that you're adding to a post that could be inserted in that way. There is uh, there are any number of uh, tools that you can use to decide which 
There are any number of tool there are any number of things that you can insert into a post, into a query box, into some place in a template based on custom post meta. I hope you find that useful.